So here's what I would do if I had the networking skills and I wanted to go freelance within a year. So let's get to it. So the first thing I recommend is to treat this like a business. So at this point, we want to decide, is this going to be a side hustle for some extra cash? Or do we want to eventually scale this out to something bigger? And then what comes along with that is a lot of people tend to ask the question, should I go ahead and get an LLC before I even get started and start to get more clients? So this is something that I also go back and forth with myself a lot on. And pretty much I broke it down into two options that you can go with. So option number one, you can basically wait until you have momentum. So this is where you can go out and test the water. So you can go out, see if you can land a paying client, see if you can get a couple of gigs. And then once you solidify in your mind that your plan will work, because what this does, you can go out, test the waters. If people don't jump on your, your service, you go back, restructure your service until people start to jump on it. But this gives you time to test the waters without having a whole lot of skin in the game yet. But then once you solidify that your plan will work or you got your services down pat and you had a pretty good pricing point, then you can say, OK, I'm going to go ahead and go and get this LLC or file as a sole proprietor, whatever, which route you want to go. But option one gives you the time to go out, test the waters to make sure your plan will work. So option number two, of course, is you can go ahead and start that LLC, get registered as a business. Uh, this is usually the route I tend to go all because it helps me to change my mindset. So I'm probably the king of LLCs. So once I got hip on starting LLCs and most people make it harder than what it is. So it's in North Carolina, it's not very hard. So every time I get an idea of whether, whether or not if that idea fails or not, I usually start an LLC. And the most reason, the first reason, the main reason I do this is because it helps me to change my mindset to where, okay, now in my mind, I have a business. Now in my mind, I need to work to grow this business. So it just helps me to change my mindset. So in theory, I am, well, I ain't gonna say I'm wasting the, the money to, to pay for it to get started, but I'm paying that fee just for that mindset shift. So this is one route you could go also. So go ahead and start that LLC. Help, it helps me to change my mindset. And then along with having that LLC, you can go out and get your business account and then also with you getting a business account, you can go ahead and buy your domain name, uh, get your email set up. So overall, by just starting out, it makes you look more legitimate, I think. So this way, when you do start going to clients and they see that, OK, the website I'm going to is Mike at Mike's domain dot com. So they see that, OK, this look legitimate because whatever your company name is, that's the website they're going to. And then also, along with that, you got the bank accounts, everything to back it up. So it just makes you look more legit, especially when you start trying to get out advertised and start trying to brand yourself. And then along with this, too, you know, you're also going to create, you know, your social media profiles. So I don't think uh, it's hard to build any kind of business today without those social media profiles. But once you got this LLC and then also another thing with the LLC is basically before you come up with your name, you can search it in that database. Uh, usually I know in North Carolina, we go to the secretary of state. You can search the name you want to use and it comes up and let you know if that name is already being used. So once you choose that name, then pretty much, like I say, you go out by the domain, get your email set up. Overall, I think it gives you a better package to present, but either way, you're not going wrong because actually with the first option, you can still go ahead and have your name and everything. You just don't have it registered and you can still go out and market yourself. So it's just something for me about doing the LLCs, which helps me change my mindset. So, so far, like I said, I've done a lot of things that has failed. You know, one of the first things I did an LLC on was back in the day, I was interested in club promotions, party promoting. So me and my partner, we had an LLC for that. And that's where I kind of, learned about the LLCs and how to get them and things like that, which is, it's not nothing complicated at all. So if anyone's trying to charge you to do it, definitely don't pay them because you can figure it all out for yourself. So the next step is after we figure out which route we're going to go, you know, if this is a side hustle, do we want to grow to something bigger? Then we figure out which direction with, with our business we're going to take. The next thing is we need to figure out our services and our rates. So I'm a firm believer that nothing new is created under the sun. 
with that being said, it means that everything that we try to do or everything, every idea you have, usually that idea ain't brand new. Usually there's someone else doing something similar or doing the exact same thing. So what I would do if, it, if I was you, I would figure out who in my area is doing the same thing. A lot of times you can turn to a lot of MSPs if you got some of those local in your area, uh, some smaller computer repair shops, because a lot of times they do go out and offer services to different businesses around your area. So this is where I would figure out who's doing something similar to what I'm doing. And then basically I would give them a call. Now I wouldn't give them a call and saying that, Hey, I'm looking to be your competition. So I want to know what you charge, but I would give them a call as a customer and basically go through and get the rundown of what they may charge for a couple of services. This way, it gives you a roundabout figure where you can start at. So this is where you can say, okay, they've been doing this for 30 years. They charge 150 to go out and let's say repair a PC or they charge a thousand to go out and set up a network. Okay. Let me come in a little bit under. So you come in a little bit under, or you may want to come in a little bit higher. It just depends on how, how comfortable you are. But going out and calling these places will give you a good idea of what to what you can kind of charge. And you see this done in more than just IT. A lot of times, if you look at different uh, plumbing businesses that get started, a lot of times, they're, if you ever researched them, a lot of times they're around the same price as other plumbers in your area because at some point in time, that person starting that plumbing business called around to the other plumbing businesses as a customer to kind of see what they was charging. That way, I know what I can charge and I know that, okay, if it's an affordable price or I know if I want to charge come in a little bit lower since I'm just starting and I really need to work. But I say figure out your services and figure out your rates. So like I said, doing market research will help you out a lot in this category because you call around to places that's doing something similar. You kind of get their fees. If there's no one local in your town, spread out larger. Go to a larger town, the next largest town close to you and see what they're charging because your goal is from here, or at least my goal would be to try to branch out to the larger city. You know, in your small town, you may have good clientele, but usually that clientele may not be able to afford to pay what you're trying to make. So this is where you're going to go to those large companies, or maybe you can go ahead and even call a couple of MSPs and let them know that, okay, if you need a network engineer or if you need someone for any kind of networking routes that I'm available, any kind of networking roles or anything, any help with anything networking related, let them know that you're available. So at this point, like I said, figure out the services, figure out the rates, and then we got something to go from.